it's now October, the spookiest month in the world. Yeah, things aren't looking great here, to be honest. After the driest, warmest September on record, we've just had a week of rain and it's wrecked the place. The whole site is flooded and that's gonna set us back because the intention this weekend was to start grading this and the track and they're both just an absolute mess. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it without making it worse. I'm gonna drop a couple more trees today and um, yeah, I guess finish stacking the, uh, the wood we didn't get to last week. <sighs> We've only got two months until the wedding now, so we really could do without these kind of hiccups. It's now Sunday, back down again, of course. I wanted to get gravel ordered this week and put it in next week, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to, to be honest. There's still lots more drying out that needs to be done before we do that. Big's looking real healthy. We'll let it have another season of growth and strengthening. And then maybe next winter we'll cut it back down. Luce is netting the sunflowers. Pretty happy with the way this has turned out. So second weekend of October now, I've just got down. It's just me today. The weather's not improved. We had loads more rain during the week. And uh, yeah, getting really quite nervous now. Setting us back two weeks with uh, not much time left to get this finished is, is not ideal. And also this morning, I cracked my phone screen. Got a couple more cable drums in the week. These are pretty decent size. And uh, kangaroos have been at our apple trees. They've just stripped the bark off them snapped them and left them lying around the place. They've just been destroyed. We just couldn't find any tree protectors anywhere. Both our local hardware stores were out of stock. I guess everyone's putting new trees down, huh? Starting to see a few sunflowers come up in the second bed. This will be too late really to get any actual flowers by the time of the wedding, but it should at least give us a nice kind of grassy, planty side over here. It's not the only thing in there. We've got millet and mung bean as well, so it should look better than just drab, dead patch. <laughs> this bed's really taken off. I mean, you know, the upside to all this rain is that I haven't had to come down watering it during the week, which is nice. I mean, if anything, we've planted, <laughs> we, we cast these seeds far too densely. There's so many in here. But um, yeah, quite happy for them just to grow and outcompete each other. At least planted uh, a load of beans in this log using this as a planter, which is pretty cool. It seems to have taken really well, actually. Yeah, these have, these have grown just in the last week. They've really taken. Good color, nice and strong. New leaves, very happy. Gonna call it there for the day. I didn't film anything, so I've been in a foul mood because of this weather. <laughs> Um, what I've done, I've widened this, so it was just to here, so this is all being filled in. Still a little bit lower, but it's much better than it was. This again was a big low spot, so I've kind of filled in this. Needs a bit more work. This was totally soaked, so it's just, it's not drying out, it's not compacting at all. But the main job was this. Now it has a load of new fill on it. Some of the white clay from down the bottom. The idea is to hire a compactor next weekend, so I'm quite happy with this. This can have gravel, that's for sure. The aim tomorrow is going to be to get this kind of junction to the same point. Right, it's now Sunday. It rained overnight and I left my boots in the trailer. Good start. I've got some tree guards for the apple trees, but I think, to be honest, they've probably, they've probably had it. I'd be very surprised if they survive. <laughs> so I've been walking around for about half an hour just trying to work out the best way to tackle this. I've been getting all the good clay from here, that hill that Luce kind of dug out. And that's been really good at getting the uh, the moisture out of the, the areas that we need to compact. 
um, but it's running low. Um, I do have this other section here, so I think I'll get in here with the backhoe. It's very similar stuff. Just gonna stop for some lunch, it started to rain and it's forecast to just continue on all afternoon. So I've uh, done a little bit in the in the clearing. I just used up the last of this hill. That's kind of depleted now. Take any more, I'm gonna have to move some trees and I really don't wanna be getting into that today. The top's looking really good. It still needs a lot more fill just to get it flat, but it's actually setting down now. So it's actually compacting. Now, what I was thinking, cause I need some more fill. I'm going to dig into this hill to the side of the wood stack. Despite the weather, I think I got pretty far with this. I'm quite happy the way it turned out. It looks all uniform now, which is nice. Yeah, so we might get some more rain tonight and tomorrow, and then it's going to be hot from Tuesday onwards. So get a chance to kind of set in and bake in, which would be good. So I'll stay back another hour in the rain. I thought I'd uh, have a crack at protecting these trees a little bit. I've got some of those tree tubes. They're not really for this. They're for kind of small little saplings, but um, it's all we can afford really at the moment. The mesh cages that we need are really not cheap. So um, yeah, this will have to do. So I've just come down midweek, Thursday night. Weather's definitely on the up. We ordered the gravel in the week and a uh, plate compactor, so we're gonna pick that up Saturday and have the gravel delivered later in the day. So um, I'm gonna take the bumpers off the bus so we can find a place to hitch a tow so we can drag this out of the way when the truck comes. So it's now Saturday morning. I've been to the hire shop and we've got our compactor just fueled up the backhoe and uh, the first thing is going to be getting the bus ready to tow. Ready? And break off. The neutral, as far as I can tell. Let's give it a go, Lise. So the bus move went well, although I don't know how long that strap's gonna last. <laughs> the plate compactor uh, is, is easy to use, it's fine. It's not gonna do a whole lot while we're on the, this, this clay. Um, it's not really what it's for, but once we've got the gravel, that's when it will start to shine. But we can certainly use it for now to kind of bring in some loose stuff, fill in the holes, the low spots, and get that compressed before the, uh, before the gravel arrives. Yeah, that is the go. With the backhoe, that would have been twice the time and half the result. That's only the first pass. All right, the gravel's turned up, but the site ain't ready. <laughs> Thank you. 
spent the better part of the day flattening this whole area with a compactor. And now we're gonna start spreading the gravel. as we got today. Hell of a lot done to be honest. We've got the first kind of light coating on that goes right down the track but uh, nah, it's already looking much better. It's really smooth as well. We've got the bus back in, back to a rightful place. Just gonna water the plants and call it a day. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> Just as we're about to leave, we realise Lucy's car battery is flat. Quality. She's got the tractor battery, she get her own. Let's hear that new gravel sound. It's all worth it. <laughs> Day two of graveling. Yesterday was lovely and sunny, not too much wind, a little bit of cloud. And today it is 10 degrees, windy and raining. Good job, Matt. just the you know temporary driveway we've chucked in just so it doesn't get muddier and ruttier and worse but for the first time it feels like an actual property <laughs> rain hail or shine <laughs> but usually rain right I've just come down midweek, I was in the area, picked up a free generator, thank you Marketplace. That's still got life in it, it's probably a panic blossom. <laughs> but um, it's not the only one. So we've got a few buds coming through here. Yeah, not much action on this one, maybe 50-50. So here's the generator I picked up. They told me that they're having carb problems and uh, it turns out it was installed backwards. <laughs> So pretty easy fix. Um, gave it once over. Oil's pretty good, but I'll, I'll give it an oil change. This one's petrol, um, which is good. So now we've got one diesel, one petrol. So if you run out of one fuel, you've still got generator. Uh, yeah, goes well. Only me today, Lucy's at work. The main thing's gonna be trying to 
get the clearing leveled. So that's gonna be a, a day sitting on the tractor, no doubt. Windy as well. So pretty much just been digging around like that all day long in different spots. It's coming together really well. The wind is so strong though, I've just been hacking up tons of dust. <laughs> Pretty over that. It's the best it's been by a long shot. Still a bit wavy, still a couple of low spots, but nothing too serious. Yeah, pretty good. Last day. Beautiful day today. I think most of the work there happened off camera, but managed to get quite a lot dug out of this. This is quite nice and flat now with the rest of it. And then I filled in a low spot in that corner and filled up that over there. That was quite a big dip. So this is really flat now. And because this is where the bus is going, it'll be um, quite important that we do get that level. This little, little hill here, I might just cut that out and push it around a bit. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.